time. And let's see if you'll get it. He said the proof, the evidence that you have stumbled on the renewal of strength is that you'll be able to do the supernatural natural. I know it is natural to gossip. And people here can gossip all night, the break of day. But if they say, come and pray, you will sleep. Because prayer is not natural. Prayer is supernatural. But if you have encountered the renewal of strength, you will pray as though prayer for you was what? Natural. Hearing God is not natural. Hearing God is supernatural. But when you encounter the grace of God, you hear God as though he's talking to you like a mortal being whispering into your ears. Are you there? Yes. Healing the sick is not natural. But there are dimensions of grace you can touch. And for you, ministering healing to people will be with so much ease that it will look as though it is natural. If your life doesn't bear the testimony of the capacity to do the supernatural naturally and to do the natural supernaturally. So when you step into business, are you there? Other people will say business is buying and selling. But when you do it under the anointing, by the prescription of the Holy Ghost, in times of recession, where all the arrows are red, pointing negative, your own business begins to flourish, begins to prosper. And people think it is because you attended Lagos Business School. They don't know that the grace you contacted has the capacity to make you do natural things with supernatural ability. Somebody is leaving this place transformed tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Those days when I was in the oil industry, once and again, we were deployed for national assignments. And when you are deployed for national assignment, you must deliver. Even if you meet a dragon, you have to kill it and deliver. Deliver. In fact, they will first threaten you before they send you. So you have no choice but to deliver. People are sleeping by 2 a.m. You are still yet to finish the fiscalization so time means nothing that is when you will need the help of god you will see figures and these figures are the figures that reflect our national capacity of petrol and our mandate is to ensure that we have sufficiency for 43 days so we need to calculate all the petrol circulating in the circulatory system of Nigeria. Think about it. Using the benchmark of 60 million liters consumption per day, we want 43 days of sufficiency. We need to know where all the liters they diverted to Kotonu. We must trace it. You are not with me. You know what I'm telling you? The task is impossible. There's no formula with which you can achieve that. That's what I'm telling you. It's impossible. But you see, there are some things you can contact and you can do the natural. How? Supernatural. The day they think it is normal and they remove you and put somebody else, for 14 days there are no, no results. They say, where is that man? He's on leave. Bring him back. That's when it will become evident that what you are doing, there is a capacity by which you achieve it, which is not in the textbook. God will take you beyond the textbook in the name of Jesus Christ. They that wait upon the Lord, they 
shall renew their strength. Their lives will become an advertisement to the unlimited dimensions of God. That when God comes upon a man and he swallows his infirmity, there is no telling what that instrument can become. For the Bible says it's the spirit that helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray as we ought. But the spirit himself make an intercession for the saints in groanings that humankind cannot utter. He takes you beyond the limits of humanity and something else that cannot be produced by witches and wizards will manifest through your life. I say to you tonight there is grace in this place and the little ones have become a thousand a small one shall become a strong nation in the name of Jesus God. Oh! Jesus knew that some resources of spiritual capital was coming from heaven. And the only way Jews could take the world in the face of language barrier in the face of cultural differences, in the face of diversities of social engineering, for Jews, mostly unlearned Jews, to be saddled with the responsibility of bringing the enterprise of heaven to the nations of the world. They needed a capacity that was superhuman. Jesus said, don't be in a hurry to go to town. Please help me preach to your neighbor. Don't be in a hurry to go to town. Tarry in Jerusalem. And he deliberately decided not to give them the dates of the appointment. He deliberately decided not to give them the time for the appointment. So when you are into tarrying business, you forget the date and you forget what? The time. And you glide with God. Because God is a king spirit. He will only speak when he wants to speak. Your tears cannot make him speak. Your crying cannot make him speak. If he gets to speak, it is because he wants to speak. If he stretches forth his hand, it is because he wants to stretch forth his hand. The first thing you encounter when you meet the majesty of God is that he cannot be manipulated. So if you are wise, you will take a place of submission. And say, if, if it is for 50 days we are here, we understand that you are not in the mood. We don't have any other agenda. Our job description is to wait. That's where you will drop you, the cap of your cerebral power. That's where you will drop your PhD. You will drop the crown that men have put upon your neck and you will wait on his majesty. Oh my God. Please help me tell your neighbor, don't go to town. Wait, wait. <laughs> so many men took off like a tornado. They have crash landed. They have crash landed. Satan has mastered them and he pulled them down. They are not about to rise again. So wait. Tarry in Jerusalem. I have an appointment with you. I want to visit with you. I want to endure you with power from on earth. You see, the word that was used in that scripture in Greek language is endure. As you can see, I'm a lanky fellow. I've been like this for a long time. I tried to lift weight to increase my muscles. It didn't work for me. I know. <laughs> it, it, it's not God's will. <laughs> I tried, but this is how I am. But the word endure means 
you will put on muscles. Uh, obviously, it's not in the natural. Because I've not changed for a long time. Okay? But inside, you put on what? Muscles. One of the proofs that you have waited on God is that you put on muscles in your inner man. Your capacity to believe God heightens. Your capacity to behold storms and trivialize it, it heightens. Your capacity to look at danger and head in the direction of danger because God has spoken is heightened. Even Satan will look at you and say, this man is, man, is there's, everybody runs from danger. He is running towards danger. There's something wrong with, you know what happened is endure. He has put on muscles. The man you tried to defeat yesterday is different from the man that he has become because of endure. You know your face never changed. Your height never changed. But your internal capacity has changed. And Satan is not aware of that. He's not aware of that. He said, Tari, I will change your capacity. I will change your internal combustion engine. I will change your horsepower. Oh my God. Somebody's horsepower will be adjusted tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh. I cosilo me ni ala curia. Escofe la mi ketaya. He will change your horsepower in the name of Jesus Christ. And all of these changes will take place in the configuration of your inner man. By the time he's releasing you again, the color of your beard may, may, may not have changed. The color of your garment may not have changed. But your capacity inside has changed. I remember it was in Zimbabwe. We went to preach the gospel. That's the largest crowd I've ever ministered to in my life. The stadium was filled up 25,000 people. And the people outside were more than the people inside. When you say, shout hallelujah, and you hear it, whoo, it's like the noise of many waters. I was ministering and I decided to step out of the auditorium of the stadium to go outside to minister to the people outside. And the witches rose up. There were many in number, many witches. Many witches rose up and they spoke in their local tongue and through the aid of the interpreter, you know, the, the interpreter was interpreting for people, but when we went outside, the interpreter had to interpret to me. <laughs> he said, the witches have cursed you. They have joined themselves together to curse you. It's not one. They curse you as a witchcraft congregation. And it was the curse of death that they put upon you. But what they were not aware of is the capacity of the combustion engine that was operating on the inside. Oh. Your capacity will change tonight in the name of Jesus. And the same place where you were defeated before, you will go back there again. The witches join themselves together and release a curse of death. Oh my God. I asked them to bring a table, a table. So I mounted that table. But you know we are not on the same level we are not at all. i had to mount the table when i mounted the table the witches came around the table and were oh my god oh my god but you see what happened to me 
is what the Bible describes as endure, endure. The muscles, the muscles began to come out. You, you, your muscles will come out. Your muscles, it will come. Out. The witches were humiliated in the public. Today we want to humiliate witches now. Just in case your destiny has been tied down somewhere. Oh my God. You are coming out. You are, you are coming out. Because the hand of God will be stretched for tonight and nothing will stop him. We finished from Zimbabwe and went to Kenya. The witches of Kenya came together and began to curse me in Swahili. So I received curses in Zulu. Received curses, I don't know the name of the language in Zimbabwe. Received in Swahili. Received in Isakiri. Received in Ghan of Ghana. Ewe of Volta. But Satan does not know the capacity of your engine. In the arithmetic of tarrying, Jesus doesn't want to change the natural. It is the supernatural that he wants to put you on overdrive. So that no weapon that is fashioned against you shall be able to prosper. Somebody jump on your feet tonight. Because we want to be endued with power from on high Ooh. part of the blessings that god had in mind before summoning us is that he wants to give us muscles in the spirit your capacity will change tonight for though thy beginning be small thy later end shall greatly increase can you make demands on heaven right now? Increase my capacity. Let me experience endure. 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 This is your moment. This is your time. Don't talk with this moment. Satan will lose tonight. 